Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. And now that you heard that, just a word of caution, because it's really hard to um, put sound or transmit sound to that side of the screen, especially for this type of device. So what I'm going to do as well is, uh, right here with you, uh, we are going to switch uh, from these to three different uh, scenarios so that you can see that the fan is actually really uh, silent. Now at this moment, we have on the silent mode, so the fan doesn't spin at all. When I put on the medium, from this distance, I can only hear a very soft wind and if I place it just next to my microphone, I don't know if you guys can hear anything, I can hear but it's next to my ear. Now if I'm playing like this, even without sounds, I will not hear it. Now if I place it on the last one, which is full blast. Now I can actually hear it. It's not annoying, but I can hear it. If I'm playing a game like this, I will not uh, be bored with it. But if I'm using some, uh, well, headphones, I will not be bored as well. But if someone is next to me and I'm using headphones, uh, that person will be annoyed, especially at nighttime in a very quiet environment. If you are in an environment like this, uh, you will hear it, but... Well, close to my ears, it's a bit annoying, but just to say that it is a good balance. But more on the fans and the cooling system in just a few seconds when I'll talk about the benchmarks and the stress tests that I did to this device. Now, getting back to the fan again, I was really curious to see if there was any change uh, using the fan or not. And I'll post uh, some images on screen and showing you that my environment, first of all, as uh, at the moment of the recording, was uh, 24 uh, degrees Celsius. And without the fan moving at all, stopped, uh, I did stress test the machine for about, uh, using ADA64 by the way, for about half an hour and I was getting 75 to 83 uh, degrees Celsius and the CPU clock was uh, clocking at 2.2 to 2.3. Then I placed the fan at the middle uh, position and we got uh, uh, roughly another half an hour working on top. We got between 73 and 82, so a little bit uh, cooler, not that much, but a little bit cooler. And uh, if we take a look at the CPU clock, it went uh, to 2.4 on average, so uh, a little bit of increase. Then uh, lastly, I put the fan at maximum C speed and we saw the temperature decreasing to 71 to 79 and the clock to 2.4 on average and sometimes hovering to 2.5. Now, in terms of conclusion for these results, what I saw was that in real-world performance I saw no hits at all, especially on gaming and frames per second. Uh, but what I can see is that the fan actually works and the CPU clock goes higher as uh, expected for this type of a machine. So guys, it works in one hand, but on the other hand, in terms of real-world performance, it will bring nothing <laughs> in terms of performance itself. And that is it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful in the future did don't forget that usual thumbs up as always my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one